gestating the curious minds involves adult themes and situations. Just a warning. Hi, hon. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while. Well, we didn't plan on uh, coming out with a new book anytime soon. We had other things we wanted to do. Then we got lazy. Oh, yeah. We completely abandoned that project. It's kind of sitting there in drafts. Which project? Uh, the the other one that we started recording and then decided oh, we didn't like it. Yeah. Now we have to go back and read something else. I know. We're lazy. Uh, we are. But we're, we're also be- brilliant. And we also are podcasting's first married couple. We are. And to that, I say, <laughs> let me open this box of Franzia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hoped that that cardboard crack would make it on. Uh, the I was probably laughing too hard. You probably can't hear shit. Oh. My dumb mouth. You hear that? Uh, you hear this? Oh, yeah. You're breaking that cardboard seal right now on that big, beautiful box oh. of Franzia. Man, they make this hard to open for something that's drunk exclusively by old ladies. Yeah, so Ugh. we were talking about Franzia uh, a little while ago, and I was talking about how my mom used to drink it all the time, uh, post-divorce. All of a sudden, she was coming back with these gigantic crates of Franzia with some sort of pink wine or something. Maybe I'm not a sure. white Zinfandel. Hmm? Something weird like that. But here, you purchased a Cabernet Sauvignon. Limited edition with a Christmas bow on it. <laughs> Not a physical one. It's an illustration of one on the box. <laughs> if you read here, it says, to my friends, from oh. your friends. This can be gifted. Wow. We Let should send this to our friends in Germany. You gift. Here you go. Can you imagine the shipping on that? Can we ship alcohol to another country like that? Especially a Franzia product? Uh, I guess if you pay for it, they don't care. Listen to that pour. Oh, oh that is a that dark, beautiful? dark, rich. Mm. Apparently, it mm. is uh, full-bodied and medium-dry. It pairs well with beef, chocolate, oh. and gift exchange. And gift exchange? Yes, oh, yes, It yes. smells a little bit like uh, some kind of raccoon's piss. <laughs> 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 not that I know a lot about wine, but... Uh, I thought you were going to say not that I know a lot about raccoon's piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, he knows much about raccoon's piss. Oh, I am <laughs> very comfortable in the arena of raccoon's mm, very piss. Very familiar. Very familiar. Oh, I grew up mm. in a certain small town. <clears throat> yeah, do you smell what I'm smelling? That acrid... It's a little vinegary. Yeah. It's not very cab sav. Uh, for all I know, this has been sitting here since last Christmas. Probably. It is early November. There's no reason why this should be on the shelves. Is there a, a, a sell by date? Wow, uh, I can see the bladder is just pouring oh. itself out of the opening that you made. Yeah, yeah. I really uh I really did a number on that thing. It's prolapsing. <laughs> September fourteenth, twenty twenty four. So there's still a good year in this baby. There's still a good year in this baby. Can you, as a medical professional, reset the prolapse bladder that's pouring its way out of the small hole that you just made? I can gently push it back in, but just the nature of the prolapse, it will continue to come back out. You think so? Okay. And that's in your professional opinion. That is in my professional opinion. Okay, Uh, so... But I can tuck this in like this, a la a mesh... Um, but as you there see, there's there's significant bulging. There is some bulging. Uh, I can tell by the way the Facebook and uh, Instagram icons are stretching <laughs> under the weight of that bladder pushing its way out <laughs> on the cardboard. Um, so we were talking about how my mom used to drink this after her divorce all the time. And as an underage kid, during that time, I would sneak up to the fridge. That's where she kept it. And I'd pour myself a little glass. And I get drunk on Franzia as a child. <clears throat> what inspired you to buy this tonight? Mm. Um, I was food shopping on my day off, uh, and I, I, I was at, uh, Byerly's at yeah. 10 in the morning. Yeah. Uh, and I wandered over into the liquor store because I knew we they would were be open recording. at 10 in the morning. Were you pounding yeah. on the closed glass doors waiting no, for them to open? <laughs> they were there and they were very kind to me. Well, cause they thought you were like a local alcoholic. <laughs> really? 10 Probably. in the morning. You get a it big actually, box of Franzi. <laughs> you know, the, so there's a, there's a guy that works at that liquor store and a local bar that we go to, uh, to get wings. And it would be extra funny if he was also working, but he was not. Damn it. That would because be funny. We saw him last night. So he definitely yeah. would have been like, you need need to slow down. Yeah. I just saw you at XYZ <laughs> yeah. restaurant the other night uh, getting in a fight with someone outside the smoking area. Yeah. 
not getting in a fight. No. There was a drunk guy talking we're, our ears off, and we were very It was unpleased. cute. Yeah. We were talking about music. Yeah. But anyways, so you decided to go ahead with the Franzia. Yes. Uh, I impulse bought it um, because we had been talking about it, and I do like a Cab Sav. This is I love heinous. that you keep saying Cab Sav, like you know a what you're cab talking sav. about. I'm yeah. a I'm a learned lady. Um, it's like when people... And this is kind of similar because I've never seen it, but when people uh, shorten Les Miserables to Les Mis, <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's that's the same vein. I've still, I've never seen Les Mis. Oh, um, I watched the movie. I've seen zero. No one says an actual human word like, hey, Steven, what time is it? They sing everything, but it's not with an actual like song. It's just like how you and I would do it. It's like. Honey, I'm out of toilet paper. <laughs> and then you're singing totally different songs like, I'll get it for you in a minute. And it's that's the entire goddamn movie. And I'm sure the actual like musical. But um how would you how would you shorten Phantom of the Opera? Phantom the Op? Phantop. Oh, Phantop. How about cats? How do you shorten cats? <laughs> <laughs> Cat. Cat. <laughs> I'm not sure. Ooh, now, nah, either way. Well, thank you for buying the Franzia. It tastes like shit. It's awful. And we have a giant box of it it's now. It's actually way worse than I thought it would be. I thought it would be <clears> serviceable. <throat> no. Um, it's real, real bad. No, it's real bad. I should and have gotten the white Zinfandel. I'm sure it would have been uh, lighter and just easier. It's going to be like uh, that Red wine. wine in plastic is just a bad idea. The wine that we got at our wedding, the complimentary wine bottles they gave oh, us. And so there's bad. that one that is just so bad. We we still have it. It's been over a year and it's just sitting there mm-hmm. and neither one of us want to touch it. I can't bring myself to open it. That's how we know that we're not alcoholics. I guess it's probably right. We also have a whole <laughs> bottle of tequila that I refuse to touch. Because no. <laughs> I'm just like, that's going to make me throw up for days. Yeah. Because it tastes those, like vomit. We only got the tequila for the um, pumptinis. Mm, mm-hmm. Otherwise, no, not worth it. Was the Pumptinis or was that vodka? Uh, it was Pumptinis because then yeah. that's when my sister came over and stuff. Oh, and yeah. you had this whole that night. was fun. But you guys only just had one because tequila is kind of gross. There's so much work. No, it was delicious. There's just oh. a lot of work to make and we didn't yeah. have all the supplies. Uh, the sink was full of raspberry guts. It was it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you get. I know. Um, I love that there's times that you come home from work and you're just like, I am so freaking burnt out. Do we have any cocktails? And I'm like, no, we got nothing. I'm like, we got that bottle of wine from our marriage. You just go, no, I'll just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is going to be, Franzia is going to be, uh, I keep saying Franzia. France. I don't know why I'm trying to make it sound Francia. fancier than it is. But uh, that thing is going to sit in there with the bottle from uh, from when we got married. Yeah. I can already tell this is horseshit. No, we should probably ice it down. It would be a little more palatable. You put ice in wine. Yes, you, anyway, welcome to Gestating the Curious Minds, where we bathe in the delicious, sweet liquid that is Franzia. <laughs> That's what you came up with? Paint <laughs> yourself with it. We should make ourselves drink a couple of these just to see what happens to us by the end of the episode. We It'll, could do that. It's 6.05. Oh, the heartburn. Oh, I already have heartburn. So oh, this do is you gonna really? Be, oh, okay. Yeah, this well, is going to be go. great. Okay, glass number one. Cheers me. This is go. a very special episode. Uh, so Glenn and I were hanging out. Um, Where were we when we, we talked were, about it? We were on our back stoop. Oh, sure. Uh, just talking. Was it Halloween or before Halloween? I think it was before Halloween. Okay. Very near Halloween, though. Yes. Um where we were talking about our our failed show, not not yet failed, just very much in its infancy. What's that? This show? No, the other one that we recorded oh, half yeah, of yeah, it and yeah, decided yeah, yeah. we didn't like You're it. You're being really secretive about it. We were it, talking, but, all right. well, because I forget what it's called. <laughs> oh, I'll look. And it we up. never announced it. We never released <clears throat> anything, so there's no, no point in me calling it by name. So, uh, it's called Bedtime Stories for Better Marriages, a guidebook for the noble sensualist. Oh, sensualist, right. <laughs> no wonder you forgot the name of it. It's real, real long. It's very long. So um, we were d- debating whether or not we should give up on the one book that we were reading for it because it might have just been too much. And Glenn just says, we should just go back to reading books about, you know, some guy whose dick is a werewolf and light bulbs, fireworks. Yeah, you laughed pretty hard the, at that. The world's lit up. Uh, so apparently I didn't appreciate what I said as much as you did. You had to tell me his dick is a werewolf. The dick is the werewolf. And I was like, oh yeah, I guess that is a fantastic idea. So that's what we're talking about today. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not even rolling Point for number it. One. The whole no. concept of the show is out the window. We're just trying to brainstorm an idea about a guy who's got a dick that is actually a small little tiny werewolf. The dick is the werewolf. Does it have legs? Or is it just a, like a tube of hair with a little wolf's face? Tube of face? hair. <laughs> okay. I'm making an executive decision. Okay. Does it have a dog's okay. face? Or is it kind of like Wolfman from the 1930s? Like humanish looking face with a lot of hair on it and a little button nose? Um, I feel like... We're just diving in right now. Uh, Maybe it just gets hairy. If it has teeth, that's really alarming. And it's going to be hard to write any kind of sexual scene involving it. What are you talking about? We've never written a real sexual scene. We've yes, never we said that. We've never written actual smut. was like that he yes, jerked off have. his purple tip. Nah, not really. Mateo going down on Smithy was hilarious and disturbing. It he wasn't, was all up in her literal guts, dude. But no one gets hard. There was well, maybe somebody gets hard. No, she, he <clears throat> he hit her with ectoplasm and then reabsorbed it. Yeah, I know, but the, that was that was top tier sex, dude. <laughs> I don't think anyone's getting wet reading that. Then it's like, ah, oh, God, you can put your face inside a person's body. Oh, but all right, fine. You Are want you, is that what you want to go for with is this story? Is this book going to be the first well, one if where you, we take a, a disgusting premise and we actually try to get people aroused? <laughs> is this the one that we actually write a real sex scene, like a like a no holds barred, like we're not trying to make you laugh. No, we're trying to get you wet. Okay, and it's also a wolf. Penis with a small little human face on the end of it. With, <laughs> with teeth. Oh, no. <laughs> but also we're trying real hard to get you worked up. <laughs> well, that's the thing, because if it, if it has teeth, it's going to bite. And there's only so much it can bite once it's in someone's body. Yeah. So that's not going to make, uh, might well, make some people work. Maybe he's got a little posable neck on the, on the tip of that face. thing, and he can kind of bite at the walls. I don't know. Ouch. No, I understand. Ouch. Maybe that's the price you pay when you're in love with a guy that's got a wolf dick. <laughs> it's kind of like Bella. Wait. If I give birth to this child, I'm going to die or whatever, but I'll oh, pay that price. They tore that sucker. Well, that's some weird Mormon yeah. fantasy. So if if a dude's werewolf dick bites you mm-hmm. in your uh, canal of whatever sort, yeah. does that turn you into a werewolf? Does that transmit oh, well, the virus? Oh, that's not a bad idea. And... The- so is the end of the story that the woman turns into a werewolf vagina? And what does that look like? Is it just a big werewolf's face spread out between her legs? <laughs> <laughs> With eyeballs and a snout and a mouth and everything? Yeah, where would the snout be? The clit? The clit, the snout's the clit. Oh, wow, we're really we're that moving real fast snout. tonight. <clears throat> Either that or he finds someone who already has an existing werewolf vagina. No, or he must. There turn has to be her. a trans, but she has to be fully consenting and knowledgeable of the fact that he's transmitting it. Otherwise, it's more like a, a metaphor for STDs, and I'm not into that. No, let's skip the metaphors. Let's just make it. It's literally a wolf dick, and maybe it's kind of like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, where there's a little bit of a push and pull, where it's like, nah, you don't want to have sex with me, but we gotta make him gorgeous, we gotta make him wealthy as hell, we gotta make him everything every shallow person would ever want. The pecs, talk extensively about the wet pecs, but then she's finally like, no, I want to have sex, like, my, my penis is real weird, and then he's like, but then he explains to her, my penis is actually a werewolf, and uh, if he bites you, you'll turn into a, a Wear pussy. I don't know what you'd say about like a werewolf vagina, but and then at the end she agrees. So it's like Bella saying, "Yes, impregnate me. I don't care if I die." We're gonna have to go for that kind of. This is a shorty, though. Oh, I know. We're not doing the whole story. No, we're not doing a big story. You can do this in like thirty pages. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be where you travel along this journey with this woman emotionally. No, it'll just be we're just gonna slap you in the face with it. Uh, should we do the fated mate trope that comes up in a lot of these werewolf yeah. books? Yeah, like imprinting he or whatever. Is looking, they're not for imprinting. His but... Fated mate, who happens to be a human woman for no no reason at all. Um, or does she have? <coughs> oh no, she she has a wolf bloodline that's suppressed. And he has to bring it out with his penis. <laughs> That's a way better idea. Oh. 
That yeah. is really good. This is writing <coughs> itself. It's writing itself. Okay. Do we end with a wolf face on her vagina? Yes. Okay. And then they... Does she have to mm-hmm. know it's going to happen before it happens? Or does she get surprised without her consent she now has a, a werewolf vagina? No. I guess that's where I was going with that whole angle of like push and pull and eventually like, okay, I want to do it. But like if he's bringing it out of her, it's dormant. You've got a wolf's vagina. It's dormant in you. I feel <clears> like the main character has to be like stupidly, like we can make it happen. Stupidly. Oh, and he yeah. finds her. Mm-hmm. And because he smells her or something, and then he has to convince her that her wolf side is dormant uh, because she's about to turn 18 and he's maybe like 36. <laughs> oh, oh, what if just like Jacob, he's been following her her whole life, but standing in the shadows. Like, I, I knew your mom. She's a werewolf. And then she's like, yeah, I know. And it's like, but you've never, you've never really busted out. You've never turned into a werewolf. But I'm, I'm supposed to be imprinted with you, or whatever the term is. And so, like, I've been following you since you were an infant. <clears throat> and she'd be like, "Wow!" It is like, you know, if we have sex, you can finally have the werewolf vagina that you were always meant to have. <laughs> Could be that, I or like that, angle. that he smelled her at the mall and followed her home. <laughs> Either one is great. So it's totally fine. <clears throat> That's a good question. Let's work backwards a little bit. Let's talk about him. So you want him to be wet? Oh, all the time? Oh, like his chest. Yes. Only just that, like, cliches of sexiness. Where, like, maybe... So, like, theoretically, let's say she's at a mall and she sees him. And then when he walks up to her, a harsh wind blows through the tunnels of the mall... And his shirt rips off, and he's like wet <laughs> everywhere. And he's like, "Oh, who would have thought that would happen?" And then she'd be like, "Wow!" And he's like, "Whatever, just sexy in general." Yeah, where uh, they meet in a Panera Bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and like maybe, maybe one of like somebody's little like lame ass sandwich started on fire which sets off the uh, the fire alarms and sprinkles everyone with water and he's covered in moisture <laughs> what if uh, someone ac- accidentally spills soup on our main female character so he tears his shirt off to mop it up oh and he's always wet <clears throat> sure inexplicably I we want don't him to have be wet to, all the we time we don't have to explain why he's wet we can no. always just describe him as just describe wet. him like he's glistening okay. his arms are glistening but he doesn't smell like body odor it's amazing is he wearing a blouse? It's I want him to wear a blouse a little bit. Like a uh, interview with an, a vampire style, like Anne she, Ricey? She could describe him as like he walked in and he looked like a fucking pirate. And it looked awesome. Like leather pants, tall leather boots that went up past his knees. Mmm. And opened up at his thighs like a buttercup. <laughs> Are you describing chaps? Uh, I guess. Just tall, tall boots that open up at the top, kind of like pussy boots. Uh, they oh, they kind of blossom the out at the to top, bl- where okay. like you know, like a giant horn you slip your leg into. <laughs> sure, sure, but like a slouchy boot. There you go, like a slouchy boot. Uh, okay. And then uh, she is um, nondescript. Should we never describe what she looks like so that? Uh, Oh, anyone what? reading can just marry <clears throat> Tanner. There was a, a book slash movie. I want to say it was Rebecca. I could be wrong. But the protagonist, they just never say her name. So, like, let's not say her name. Let's not describe her or anything, which is there's a lot of work there when, when it comes to writing. That's like, going to be really hard to do. A lot yeah. of, hey, you, he said to me. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> You're the chosen one. You're the chosen one, whatever your name is. But yeah. I don't know. It's possible, but definitely don't describe her, for sure. Just make it all about him. And anything we do describe, it has to be the most vague. Anything Mm. that can be plugged in. Oh, you could say, like, I looked at him. Like, the moonlight, in the moment that they're having a romantic moment, the moonlight casting down upon our faces, and he looked deeply into the eyes that I have, and he said, (laughs) those look really great. (laughs) (laughs) Hit me with another Franzia. (laughs) More Franzia, please. Uh, 617. 
What about 617? We're just... I called out the last time we filled our glasses. Oh, I drank my Franzia fast. I know. Well, I'm not shaming you. It's kind of like baby vomit, and for some reason I'm really taking to it. It's for the... (laughs) I don't know why I'm working so fast on this Franzia, but... It's for the listeners, uh, because we promised that we were going to pound this Franzia. Yeah, it's true. Francia. 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 Okay, so call out her features, like her body, but it'd be incredibly vague. Like he looked over my hips, legs, and arms and said, <laughs> you are comely. <laughs> Things yeah, like that. We don't, we don't describe her body at all. At all. But Even he the clothes is she all wears. undulating, wet. Yep. Describe thick. like... How the moisture, even though he never smells like body odor, you imagine it's got to be sweat, but it's not. It's just a general <laughs> moisture or dewiness. His musk. Yeah, but it's like it's it's like dripping down his six his six pack or whatever. It's stuff like oh god, like every detail. Like he was hairless, perfectly hairless. Ooh. And, but then with her, it's like except for his dick. Except for his dick, exactly. But um, but no, with her, it's like. I tossed my hair, and he says, wow, your hair has shape. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, your hair certainly is a color. (laughs) I love the color of your hair and the texture that it has. (laughs) So you are describing her in the most vague terms possible. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God, that's so funny. Oh, I love that. Okay. So, otherwise, uh, should we give her a motivation for uh, wanting to become this wolf? Should she fight it? Is there a little fuss and fight? Or is she like, yeah, I know I'm a wolf. Uh, You're going to bite me or what? Yeah, is it... Is she... Has he been... Okay, so I guess this would help. Has he been following her her around forever and he knows that she comes from a wolf mother? Uh, Or a wolf mommy? You call a wolf, a wolf mommy. mommy. Yeah. I know you're wolf mommy. You, I've been following. <laughs> I'm supposed to make sex with you. I've been following you since you were one years old. Um, or is it that he like discovers her at this Panera and sniffs her like by your musk. I can tell that you are a, a secretive woman with a secret. And he's like, what's my secret? Your push should be wolf shaped. <laughs> like, I don't know what direction you want to go with that. <clears throat> so that's how you convince all her. The, in all the other, in all the other literature, the literature. Yeah. And I go back to the the literature. Um, <laughs> Say it again. I don't know. The literature. Okay, thank you. Uh, the the women. Yeah. The virgin women. Virgins. They all the virgins. They always have like very controlling uh, parents who have tried to keep them from their fate, oh, and uh, the man sure. comes and liberates them with <clears throat> his penis. So <laughs> we could go in that direction. It would be in line with the trope, but I am sure. also totally fine. I do like her just being like sexually liberated already. You could shave off chapter after chapter of her describing her home life and how her mom's suppressing her and stuff. And she'd be like, he'll be like, um, I don't know. Whenever it comes down to like, we should have sex, but I should warn you, my penis is a wolf. (laughs) And then she'd say like, well, that's weird. I don't want to do that. He's like, what's your home life like? And then she'd be like, well, my mom's always been kind of like, suppressing me and keeping me from the outside world and you'll be like that's because you're you got a wolf mommy and i can liberate you with my penis do you want to go see a movie anytime you want it's like (laughs) yeah do you want to be able to pump your own gas well yeah i'd love to be able to do that (laughs) how about i get you a soda she's like i've never been allowed to drink soda there you go exactly there's caffeine in it (laughs) exactly like baby i'll take you far away from utah And then he could actually, if this is all happening in one location, just the Panera, he'd be like, (laughs) take this menu. You can get anything you want. He's like, you mean I can choose? Go nuts. And and then he looked at my hips, which he found a reasonable size, and said, get whatever you want. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. So maybe that's the way to go. The mom knew the secret this whole time. I want to get, I yeah. want to make her vagina look like a normal person's vagina. <laughs> I don't want her to date a wolf daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that can be the title of the book. Wolf daddy? Yeah. So there has to be some kind of conflict. True. What is the conflict going to be? 
Okay, for one, is this happening over time in different locations, or is this all happening in the Panera within a half That's hour a good span? Question. They could certainly move to a second location. Okay. Um, should it be mall based, or should we get them out of the mall? Oh. To different locales. Maybe the uh, there's a, a separate wolf faction that hangs out at Hot Topic. <laughs> Of course they would, yeah. <laughs> and they're like, they're the really obvious losers. It's like, yeah. oh, they're out hot topic. I like the ones that hang out at Eddie Bauer. Now, those guys are subtle. They know what they're doing. They know how to pull off the whole wolf thing in a cool They've way. got class, but they also like to be outside. <laughs> exactly. They're all like, have you seen this headlamp? It's fantastic. <laughs> you strap it on. All you gotta do is wave your hand in front of it. It turns on. And all the other ones go, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So is our main character an Eddie Bauer uh, <coughs> werewolf? Yeah, is he like the leader of the pack? Nah, did you see what I did there? But he could be like the head Eddie Bauer guy who is finally like, guys, you stay here. I'm going to go. Has he been following her her whole life? Or is it that he's hanging out in front of the Eddie Bauer, just kind of looking cool, maybe smoking a cigarette, even though it's still indoors? <laughs> got one leg got kind of behind him a little bit, uh-huh. like lighting up a smoke. And then sees her go by and he goes, <laughs> and then howls. That's almost funnier. Yeah, instead of the I whole thing. I think that's way funnier thing. for this to be like, yeah, just really quick. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, for sure. It's going to okay. be like 30 pages. So he smells her as she's on her way to like the gap. Panera. Oh, okay. Because it has to happen in Panera. Yeah, you're right. I've decided. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, but then they could move to a second location to get a little hot and heavy because there's always a weird alley in a mall with a bathroom in it. True. There's also the love sack where they could have a nice deep conversation without getting without getting handsy. Oh, you're but thinking the love mall sack. of America. Oh, well, uh, other malls have love sack. I don't know if there was a love sack in my my mall, my childhood mall. I'm sorry you had in to New live that Jersey. way. New Jersey. Yeah, I'm sorry you had to live that way because love sack makes good. They started out with beautiful bean bags, so comfortable, <laughs> and they moved down to like couches and shit. But there's love sacks in more than one mall, for sure. Oh, look at that throat. Just big yawn. You can see right down the back of your mouth. Too much friends here. I know. When are you going to catch up to me? I'm on glass number. Oh, wow. You just downed that Franzia. I was going to say, yeah, no, you dip your finger in the Franzia and then you got to wait for the tannins to catch hold. Oh, you almost got it. Keep going. That's like watching a monkey try and do it. There you go. I'm better at eating soup than I am at making Crystal sing. I think, sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very common expression. Don't tell me that's the first I'm time you've ever heard it. I'm better eating soup than making Crystal sing? hmm Well, yeah. the big wood spoon I give you, make you sit outside when you eat it. Sure, you're great at it then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the backyard with a bib, and then you just hose me off when yep, it's time exactly. for me to come back in. I slap the wooden spoon out of your hand. That stays out here. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so they meet at Panera. Um, it doesn't have to be love sack. What's more? What's a more universal thing? Maybe they start to have a more erotic conversation while sitting in those um, public massage chairs. Oh, they don't yeah. actually fuck yet, but they're just like they're getting a little bit like, what kind of pussy do you like to look at? One that's real hairy. No, oh, like my mom. <laughs> Even hairier than that. I want it to have a small face. <laughs> out by the Macy's. Yep. There you go. Out by the Macy's. Mm-hmm. So then they kind of work their way up uh, romantically, just fucking, um, like sexually. And then they, where do they go after that? Where can you actually get hot and heavy? And that's where she reaches down his pants and discovers the hairiness of his phallus. I feel like um, it should be outside of the mall complex, maybe in the parking lot somewhere. Uh, But we can assume that they have access to um, a series of uh, 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 hallways behind the stores in the mall. Okay, hold on. Yes, the hallways is good. Is good. <clears throat> hallways are good. There's always like the bathroom that's kind of tucked off to the side. That's got like the uh, 
the family bathroom along with the men's and women's, and it's like kind of off to the side. No one ever uses it. But what if you? What is a restaurant that no one ever really goes to, but it's in every mall? That they have a bathroom inside the restaurant. I've seen that before, like with Cordoba. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Cordoba's mm-hmm. never busy. Mm-hmm. But I don't want to say that that's like the loser place. Friendlies. Friendlies. And they have a bathroom inside where they go and they Did make they sex. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Do they have friendlies out here? I'm not. No, I don't think so. Cheesecake Factory, but everyone's in Cheesecake Factory all the time. Are you kidding me? That time. place is busy all the mm-hmm. time. What's the, what's the other one? Uh, Macaroni Grill. That one's weirdly popular around here. Is it? Yeah, it's weird. I hate that it's popular because I hate that place with all my heart. How about a... uh... I mean, because people make fun of Olive Garden, I guess it's probably busy again. Like, it's become a joke that everyone goes and does. I guess. I've never had a problem with Olive Garden. I don't dislike it at all. It doesn't have... I mean, it's like Buca de Beppo, and I love Buca de Beppo. <laughs> Buca de Beppo. Oh, what's that pizza Buco? place that's Buca? in every Buca? mall? Sabaro. Sabaro. They don't have their own bathroom, but we can pretend. Oh, let's pretend Sabaro is a really upscale uh, Italian restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, f- yeah, with their massive fucking dry as shit pizza slices. Horrible. <clears throat> because they have that whole twilight scene where they go to an Italian restaurant after he's so Edward saves Bella from being gang raped. Yeah, I remember that. And then they go to an Italian restaurant and eat mushroom ravioli. This is burnt into my head. So bad. Uh, and they have kind of a nonsense conversation. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's pretend that the Sabaro is okay. <clears throat> this like high, high end. scale, yeah, it's, yeah, but, I love it. So they go in the bathroom of Sabaro, mm-hmm. which has seating and like what busts of. Yeah, you're thinking of Buco de Beppo. Yeah, I'm thinking Buco de Beppo. Buco de I Beppo. love that. So we had a, a French foreign exchange student stay with us for a while, and this poor kid got trapped here. Uh, they came here for two weeks with my youngest, and <clears throat> then when they were supposed to fly home. Their connecting flight in Amsterdam, there was too much weather, so they got canceled. They go back the next day, it got canceled again. Then they go back on the next day, and then they said, well, we're going to reroute you to, uh, like, Atlanta, Georgia, and then go straight back to France. And then <clears throat> they're like, great, but then they never, like, the place never bought the tickets for these students to go back home that way. So this poor kid just got stuck here for all weekend. So they just left today. I hope they're on a plane right now going home. I haven't heard anything different yet. But um, I kept saying, with, over the weekend, I'm like, you're bored? They're like, no, I'm fine, because they're very polite. No, I'm fine. And I was like, you look bored, and I want you to have the American experience. Let's go to Buca de Beppo, where it's <laughs> what middle-aged white people think it, Italy's like, which is like every wall has a picture of the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> and, like Random busts of just like ancient Roman generals and stuff. Like, it's just really weird. You go to the bathroom, they have, like, a soundtrack playing of women talking. Not anymore. Oh, that's right. They, they can stop it. doing that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So. But they do have a bust of the Pope. They do on have that a bust one big of the Pope. Table. And pictures of the Pope, too. Yeah. yeah. I want to sit at the Pope table. I don't think Next we, time. I don't think we're at that level. I don't think they're going to let us do that. But either way, so we're going to make Sabaros the Buca de Beppo. Like, how, how, describe it. How many one-pound meatballs do I have to order before they let me sit at the Pope table? I know. Can you imagine if we're just, like, human monsters where it's like, can I get the... Because everything's made for, like, It's family style, so they give you a huge plate of pasta meant to be shared. But if you don't share it and you eat all the meatballs, they're like, now you can sit at the Pope table. (laughs) (laughs) You monster. (laughs) I'll train. I can do it. I have faith in myself. I love that it's like some family sits down. like, and we have people that qualify for the Pope table. If you look right over there, it's the two of us who were gigantic and sweating. We're we're just totally greased. (laughs) Thoroughly greased. We have the whole, you know, ring around the mouth. Yeah, they put like a small bib, like a baby's bib, hanging off our nose to cover our chin and our cheeks. It's like a little goatee. Yeah, like a hole poked through it. It's like, okay, enjoy yourself. (laughs) Okay, so uh, you can describe Sabaro in lustrious ways, like Mm -hmm. it's uh, Buca de Beppo 
where like maybe it's like, well, why don't you come to Buca de Beppo? Or why don't you come to uh, Sabaro's with me? I got us a seat at the Pope's table. Like, oh, the Pope's oh. table? With the bust of the Pope? Yes, yes. I know people here at Sabaro. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so they uh, they Start. hook up in the bathroom. <gasps> oh. What? What if under the table at Sabaro, oh. she takes her foot. Oh. Wants to rub it along his thighs and his crotch a little bit. And then she hears something. Like a bark or a small <laughs> howl. Or like, a, like a growl or something. She's like, oh, is your stomach upset? He's like, no, my stomach's fine. Ow. I love that everyone in uh, Eddie Bauer aren't actual werewolves. Just their dicks are. Yeah. So, like, check out this headlamp. And they'll go, ow. ow. But it's like, they're just losers. Because, like, yeah. their penis doesn't care. Their penis is the one that should be howling. Yeah. I love that. But it's I wrapped do. so much; it's in their identity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so they they make it their whole person. Yeah, they walk around in a little pack and <laughs> and you know little gingham shirts and vests. Yep, exactly. And then what is the so then the hot topic werewolves? Do the hot topic werewolves want to meet with her? Are they also dick wolves? Are they different body part wolves? I don't know. Should they be like? Should there be classic werewolves? But then the dick wolves like make fun of him. Like that whole that guy turns into a whole werewolf. <laughs> like his whole body. Yeah. What How a, gross is yeah. that? <laughs> Mine's a dick twenty four hours a day. Yeah. Dicks all day. Dicks all day, dude. <laughs> dick wolf all day, okay. dude. Yeah. They are traditional. <laughs> we should have werewolves. Dicks all day, dude. <laughs> and they hang out at like, I don't know. I'm thinking like the Gap. I can't think of something lame. Like some store that's lame, but. Their legs turn into have like two. Oh, what? Their legs turn into wolves, but they're not bragging about being werewolves. Like it sucks that their legs turn into wolves because when the moon's out and their legs turn into wolves, they just lie on their backs and their legs drag them forward <laughs> as they hunt. <laughs> so they're like not happy and they're hanging out at like I don't know what store that would be, a store where you're compromised, like Macy's. They're just hanging out at Macy's in the shoe section <laughs> or something. It's like, oh, yeah, those guys, that their legs turned into wolves. We don't have to make this part of the story. I'm just running with it because I love this idea. It is funny. It's completely so inconvenient. Do we, do we not want them to be Hot Topic traditional werewolves? Do you want them to be leg wolves? Oh, no, the Hot Topic guys are regular werewolves. Their whole bodies change in the moon. It could be a throwaway comment where we're like, yeah, and then those guys over there, you see them and they're like leaning against the yeah. uh, marble veneer wall. Mm-hmm. No, I'm thinking like the mall has different kinds of werewolf body parts spread out around it. You're making a weird face. You're just... Payless? <gasps> Payless shoe stores? Because they're they're constantly exploding their shoes all the time whenever their oh. legs turn into wolves. But Hot Hot Topic has full body werewolves. Yes, yes. Payless shoe stores has got the guys who unfortunately their legs turn into wolves. Yeah. They actually have their own little legs. So yeah. they'd be dragged on their backs across where they're like <laughs> hunting through fields. Then like we could we could pick another store that has some other kind of abstract like wolf thing. Like just their heads turn into wolves. Like their heads get real hairy. And they're just kinda like oh. lids. But they still <laughs> <laughs> lids is perfect. Their bodies are totally normal, little thirteen year old boy bodies. But they got these big furry heads and they're hanging around lids all the time. <laughs> but then Eddie Bauer has like that. That, like, old man dick energy, the middle-aged man dick energy who, like, spends a lot of time in the wilderness. Well, yeah. pleated pants, but it's because oh, their sure. dicks their dicks are wolves, but they don't change in the moonlight. They're just wolves all the time. Oh. So they're, like, the biggest, like, everyone actually they're respects the them. They're the most alpha because they are 24-7 wolf dude. 24-7 wolf dude. <laughs> like, lids. Where it's just, like, when the moon <clears throat> is full, then their heads just go... And they're just like <laughs> puffed out, a lot of hair. And they go, nah, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and they just kind of walk around. Oh. I hope no one sees me. I have, I, I had a date tonight. <laughs> I'm 13. I'm 13. I was going to take a girl to AMC. I think that's fun to have some different uh, flavors of wolves. wolves. Yeah. yeah, I think that's hilarious. Leg wolves crack me up because they, I don't know, we, we can make mention of a situation where it's like, yeah, it sucks for the leg wolves because... They're like, go outside to have a cigarette at night, and all of a sudden, <laughs> their legs turn into wolves, and they fall on their back, and their legs just take them yeah. to the neighborhood. <laughs> it scrapes all the skin off their backs. Yeah, there'd be that. And so um, That's why they have to wear leather all the time. 
Oh, there you go. Only leather upper leather body. Leather helmets. Yeah, leather helmets. <laughs> oh, maybe she can be like, are they motorcycle wolves? Are they moto wolves? Uh, moto no, wolves. No, they're leg wolves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, need to wear leather and helmets because their legs drag them away. You should make them where the leg wolves don't even depend on the moon. They just randomly throughout the day explode into leg wolves and then start running. <laughs> so it could be like three in the afternoon. I'll yeah. like, oh, my legs <laughs> fall their back and start being chased down the street. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Whatever you want to do. Um, okay, then that's cool. So we got a, we got a couple different kinds. We got the head wolves, got the full body wolves that hang yeah. on a hot topic. Yep. And then they're they're on the moon and that or based on the moon cycles. And then you got leg wolves that just kind of happen and whatever. Um, but then everyone is just jealous of these sweet sweet dick wolves. Oh, they want the dick wolves. Yeah. So is so the conflict is going to be with the full body wolves, right? They're the ones that feel like they're entitled to step up to the dick wolves. They're like, yeah. why can't she be our queen? Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we smelled her, too. <laughs> yeah, like, she's wearing a Taking Back Sunday shirt. She's ours. <laughs> exactly. There you go. And then she uses her wolf powers to uh, summon a, a giant flash of bright, healing light. Mm. And everyone calms down oh. and uh, orgasms or something. And then she and the alpha run off and uh, consummate uh, their their thing, and then her vagina transitions into this a werewolf. This is really abstract. So she just calls out purifying light? Yes. Have all the different wolf types conglomerated into the center of the mall? Yeah, because they all want to fight for her. And then she maybe realizes her power, which is that she can control wolves. So, like, you said that everyone has an orgasm. The dick wolves <laughs> shoot semen out of their little wolf mouths. And then, like, the leg wolves <laughs> shoot semen out of their, like, their toes because they haven't transformed to the wolf's legs yet or something. Or do they all transform to their wolf shape right there on the spot and then orgasm? She is the, mo- the wolf mother. So this she is... Has, she has the power of the wolf mother. So and she they controls all, they them all now. Want, they all want her. But no. so he is fighting to have her in his clan. Get me another Franzia. <laughs> okay, now we're getting now we're getting messy. Now we're getting now somewhere. we're getting dirty. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're so getting. So it there. could be like a little uh, a, a, a reverse harem situation. Uh, but there it's a short go. story, so you know it's just like. Uh, Thank you, my friend. Oh, you're welcome. My my best friends. You're I my wish best you the friend. Best. I wish this. I can't wait I till you get. Best. Someone's gonna make you so happy oh, when you get married man, someday. I, I hope I can be your best man at your wedding. That would be so cool Wouldn't if you be so were cool? my best man. Oh. Can you imagine that would, that I would, be would honored. turn the tables on people's expectations for a best I, man? I would wear a tux. <laughs> How funny would that be? <laughs> oh my god! All the guests would be like, "Oh my god, she's wearing a tux." That woman's wearing a tux. They must a, be best oh, friends. Best friends. <laughs> best friends for life. I can't wait to get married someday. <laughs> um. So, uh, okay. So it starts out where she's meek. Um, my mother has controlled me my whole life, and then he's opening up her world by like, order anything off the menu you want. Let me take care of you for it. She's like, I can make my own How decisions. How much broccoli cheddar soup can you eat, girl? Yeah. Because like, I'll, I'll buy you so many bread bowls. Yeah, and then she'd be like, I love bread bowls. I can have as many as I want. Like, you can have whatever you want when you're hanging out with the yeah. dick wolf. And then fueled by the power of several broccoli cheddar soup bread bowls. It, she, it, it, she's she able finally to tap into up. her carnal power. there, And it turns out she's actually in charge of them. And she's made a reverse harem situation. Oh, yeah. Where she can make them transform their legs become wolves. Uh, the full body wolves become wolves. There could be like the well, the head wolf. You could even have like a left hand wolf where just the hand turns into a little wolf face. Going, but they all start ejaculating like mm. crazy. Mm-hmm. No yeah. sex scene needed. Now she's in charge. And then who does she pick? Why does she pick the dick wolf out of anybody else? Uh, uh, because he's the wettest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like those leg wolf guys. They're bone dry. <laughs> Their bodies look like crap. <laughs> dick wolf, because he's wet and glistens beautifully in her healing light. 
I can't wait for you to write that scene. We already just described, because uh, we took a little break to go pee and stuff, and we already just talked about, like, okay, let's do chapter after chapter. It's kind of a yes and thing to, like, yeah. challenge We're the other person. We're go tit for tat. Yeah. But then you should definitely take the last chapter, because this is your thing, um, and you can describe how she raised her normal average-looking arm into the air <laughs> with and like the light glistened off her fingernails which were painted a very normal color. <laughs> and the then color a of light. the season. <laughs> the color of the season. <laughs> and then the bright light comes down and makes all of them turn into wolves but they're wolf parts that ejaculate. Yeah. Yeah. Around the uh around the fountain, around the mall fountain. Yeah. Which is hilarious because we should not comment on how everyone else in the mall reacts to this. No. It's almost as if it's just their mall for them. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a wolf mall. <laughs> exactly. It's a mall full of wolves. Oh, you should have like a mom wolf or like a mom with a baby, with a little stroller walking by and they <laughs> pop into wolves. <laughs> like everyone there, only they're only wolves in this mall uh, for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all ejaculating. I love the angle that, like, all the wolves that hang out there with their certain wolf types at certain kind of stores um, are, in the end, kind of losers because there's other wolves that come specifically to this wolf mall and they have their own lives. Like, we, we don't have to specifically hang out at Bar- like Barnes and Noble Wolves. Barnes they and be? Noble Wolves. Do they're their- the left hand wolves. Or do their eyeballs turn into wolves? <laughs> No, it's left hands, and I will not be fine explaining further. I like but it two makes little sense. wolf eyeballs. I love to read. <laughs> <laughs> I almost want to make them butthole wolves because oh. uh, who hasn't had diarrhea at a Barnes and Noble? <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, as someone that has a lot of diarrhea, I never have. Strangely, I enough. don't believe you. I haven't. All right, I haven't had to take a dump in a Barnes and Noble. I don't think ever in my entire life, which is strange. Oh, are you going to finally dip into another Franzia? This would be my third, my third Franzia. Yeah, you're a little bit behind me on everyone. So now we can clink glasses again. Uh, 658. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I can't wait until you get married. <laughs> I just love who you are as a person so much. Man, I really just, I respect you as a person and I'm excited to see... The person you fall in love with. Isn't that going to be fun? Who is that person? I what don't are they know, be like? but she's out there. I hope that they're You're not ugly. find her. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, I'll find her. I can't imagine the man you're going to finally marry. Oh, pish posh. So, they... It's a wolf mall now. So, when she yeah. does her light... Everyone yeah. in the mall, even like the janitor, like the guy on the Segway running around like, you kids, you stop fingering each other. Like he's on a Segway mm-hmm, chasing mm-hmm, after kids, mm-hmm. uh, turns into a wolf. But his wolf is like just a back wolf. Uh, <laughs> like all sorts just of thick di- carpet of hair on his back. <laughs> his shirt rips off and there's a wolf face on his back. Goes Arr! like that. And the guy goes, ah, geez. He goes oh, down the escalator. My wife isn't going to like this. Yeah. My, my wife makes me wax it every month. <laughs> she won't touch me otherwise. I love that most wolves do it on events like the full moon, mm-hmm. but there's other wolves where it's just like, every time I go to the bathroom and I try to hold, I don't know, I get a little drip of pee on my hand, it instantly turns into a wolf. Like, it's not always the moon, it's just other things. Cause wolf parts. Pee. Yeah. A drip of pee on my hand, also my left hand turns into a wolf. That could be the Barnes and Noble wolf. Um... So, yeah, everyone in the mall turns into a wolf, and then what happens? Okay, so she uh, maybe turns to uh, (coughs) Eddie Bauer Alpha, Mm -hmm. Dick Wolf, and goes, You! Is she a wolf at this point? She's the wolf mother. Or is that her pants rip off? She's not yet a wolf. No. But she is, uh, she has it in her. She is the mother. So she doesn't have the wolf vagina. She just need no. Does she, she just ever needs get the wolf to vagina? choose. Yes, oh, because okay. she needs to be bitten by a wolf oh. to release that power. But her innate power is so strong that it creates this healing light. Okay, it's bright, bright light. So everyone turns into a wolf. Mm-hmm. She turns to the alpha from Eddie Bauer and chooses. Mm-hmm. Bite me with your dick. <laughs> yes, I will lie with you. <laughs> Put your hairy phallus inside me and bite my inner walls. 
<laughs> my inner holes. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of <coughs> mashups of songs. You're beautiful. And every, thank you. <laughs> I'm majestic. You're beautiful. Majestic. Every time they, the, it's whatever song that has the word you in it, but every time it gets to you, the DJ cuts it with Soldier Boy's, uh, 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 Soldier Boy. Tell yeah. Me. Yeah. I don't know what he says. Yeah. So it's always the you. Oh, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. That's all I can think of anymore with anything. Okay. So she chooses Eddie Bauer. Yeah. Uh, and he, glistening chest is the alpha. So whatever. They, they consummate the thing and his dick bites her. In cervix. front of everyone, right there in the middle of the mall. I mean, they're all wolves. Maybe it's normal for them. Uh, maybe, because they're all still caught up in the uh, phantasmagoric, blinding, white healing light. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then she, you know, meets with Eddie Bauer. Okay. Uh, and then uh, her, her uh, vulva transforms. <laughs> to take... The dick wolf, or after he bit her from the after inside. After bite. Okay, so he pulls out little tiny wet, oily wolf, pulls out, spewing white cream from his mouth. Oh, I don't know. This is what sex is like. And then, <laughs> uh, and oh. then her pussy just goes <laughs> and becomes <laughs> like a wolf face with hair everywhere and a little nose I, for clip. I, I guess the like the labia tremble. As uh, <coughs> extra hairs pop out. <coughs> okay. Extra hairs and whatnot, and then clit is wolf face. Okay. Well, the clit's a nose. The eyes are on the pubic mons. Mons pubis? Mons pubis. There we go. Are we, and then is that the, the end? I guess that's the end. Okay. Do they kiss? Maybe. <laughs> we'll Depends find out. what the mood is, yeah, when yeah. we're writing it. Yeah, and then as far as the leader of the pack when it comes to the Eddie Bauer uh, Dick Wolf gang, um, we've been kind of following him. We know a lot about him and almost nothing about her <laughs> physically, emotionally. Even she is the wolf mother. Yeah, we know nothing about her at all. Um how does like we don't even know what thoughts are going through her head or anything <clears throat> so it's always gonna be third person narrative uh, but then it's always about him we know everything about him so then what happens to him afterwards do we have like a little epilogue of any type where it's like and then um, so a lot of if we're going back to the trope a lot of <coughs> a lot of those stories have epilogues <laughs> a lot of those gorgeous. stories have epi- <laughs> epilogues You're gorgeous thank you mm-hmm so we could uh, do some kind of epilogue of this is what their life was like after. Um, I don't personally care. No, neither do I. It just sounds like more work. <laughs> Let's just leave with the vulva transition and okay. uh, we'll figure it out from there. Does the vulva with a nose for a clit, mm-hmm. eyes on the mons pubis, mm-hmm. the mouth, mm-hmm. which should go horizontal... <laughs> Which is a weird transformation. <laughs> but it, no, it doesn't. It, it stays vertical. Does it? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Uh-huh. Like from the nose yeah. down uh-huh. vertical. Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then once he pulls his greasy, wet phallus with all the hair is slicked and swirling around on the on the on the shaft, uh, and the little mouth goes, uh, then. <laughs> Does it does it end with the vulva going oh or something <laughs> like there should be something heavenly about it? Well, all of a sudden, all the other wolves in the mall all tilt their heads back and go oh, <laughs> they and they all the become note. one. <laughs> something weird and abstract like that. Beautiful, love it. Perfect. Okay, well, look for that coming out on Amazon. <laughs> are we gonna write it and you're gonna read it or we're just gonna oh kick it I can out read there? it yeah I can definitely read it well uh we'll write it Ouch. we're gonna go chapter by chapter and then we're going to um I don't want that thing what about this one I don't want that one either it's like fly hairs get them off me she's pulling out her lashes and just handing them to me like I want them <laughs> they're extensions anyways 
We'll write it chapter by chapter, challenging each other, and then we will, I will read it, and then we will publish it. I don't want that one either. I'm like three weeks overdue for a fill, so they are dropping like flies, and they're itching me. Yeah. Gross. You love them. They're very hot. Anytime, they do look good. You look really nice with them. Thanks. So I'm not just saying that, but like when you came back with them, like, oh my God, you look amazing. It's kind of like all the porn I watch. You, like, <laughs> you got like one of those laser, those big eyelashes. But um, anytime an uh, eyelash would fall on your cheek in the past, I'd always pull it off your cheek and go, make a wish, and you blow on it. But now when I see an eyelash on your cheek, I'm like, it's fake. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real goddamn Sound eyelash. Real. All right. Well, there you go. Thanks for listening. And uh, we'll be back another God knows how many weeks. And uh, we will uh, be reading this story and then publishing it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. Want to contact us? Don't. This isn't about you. But if you have to, my email is glenn.nuzzles, N-U-Z-Z-L-E-S, at gmail.com. You can also find us on Twitter, uh, at House Nuzzle. Uh, but don't bother us, because we're too busy working.